Welcome to Team Sports Banners, where designing your own banner has never been cooler. From the home screen, you will begin by selecting whether you want a softball, baseball, or soccer banner. By moving your mouse over these, a subcategory will appear with the option of a hem and grommet or a pull pocket banner. You will then select the design your own banner. You will now select again which banner you want, either hem and grommet or pole pocket, and select apply. On the pole pocket banner, you will see a red area on the top and bottom of your banner. Do not put any text or graphic here, as you will not see them correctly once the banner is hung. On the hem and grommet banner, there is a border line that you cannot put any text or graphics, as they may get cut off of your banner. Backgrounds. Begin by choosing which type of banner you're creating, softball, baseball, or soccer. Select the background subcategory. You can then choose which background you'd like for your banner, either from the hem and grommet or pole pocket, depending on which banner you're creating. If you'd prefer to have just a solid color, you can choose one by selecting it from the background colors. Team names. First, be sure you're under the correct sport and then choose the team name subcategory. They are then sorted alphabetically to help you find your team name faster. Once you've found the one you want, left click on the image for it to appear on your banner. If you want a custom team, you can do so in the text editor. Type in your team name into the text box. You may then change options about the text. For example, make bold, italic, or underline. Change the position of the text, change the size, color, and even font. You can also wrap the text to make it more appealing. Once you're finished, select Add Text. Clip Art and Accessories. To add in clip art and accessories, select the subcategory underneath the sport you've chosen. You can then place it on your banner by left clicking on it. If your newly inserted clip art is on top of something, you can click the front button to bring it from behind the object. If you've resized your clip art or accessories and would like to have another to be the same exact size, you can select the object and then hit copy. This will place an exact copy of the object you had selected. You can also copy multiple items at a time by having them all selected using the shift key and hitting copy. If you have several objects and need them to be aligned, hold down the shift key and left click on each object. You can now align this to be even by selecting the left, right, top, bottom, or middle button. To make an object see-through, you can change the opacity by changing the number. The less the number is, the more it will be see-through. Moving, resizing, and rotating objects. When you're moving an object on your banner, first select the object, and then place your mouse over it to find your cursor that looks like an arrow going up and down, left and right. You may then click and drag where you would like your object to be. If you click inside the square, but not on a part of the image, you will not move the object. If you want to resize your logo while having the object selected, place your cursor on one of the four corners. Being sure it has turned into a slanted arrow and click and drag. You must be sure to hold down the shift key while dragging. If you do not hold down the shift key, it is possible that you may distort your image. You may also rotate your image by moving your cursor to the outside of the four corners, finding the cursor has turned into a rotating arrow. From there, you can click and drag either up or down. Fixing a mistake. 
If you need to delete an object, select the object and then hit the delete button on the left side. You may also have the item selected and hit delete on the keyboard. But if you do something that you don't like and need to undo it, you can click the undo button. And this will undo the last action you have completed. You may use the button several times to undo several things. Players' names. To add in your players' names, go to the text editor and type in one name. After you've added the text to the banner and you do not like the way it looks, you may still edit the text while having it selected by changing the options in the text editor. To add a new player's name, be sure to not have anything selected. Type in your player's name and hit Add Text. If you have not changed any of the other options, it will look just as your first one did. If you realize you need to change a name, you can select the name and change it in the text editor or just by double-clicking on the banner and change it from there. Team Sport Banners Extras. If you need more working space, you can select the Show Library to either hide or show the library. If you have a larger screen, you can even extend the library using the small arrows. A great feature we offer is to upload your own file. Select the Upload File and select the image you want to import. You can upload JPEG and PNG files. If at any time, while building your banner, you need to leave, you can save your banner to come back later. Hit the Save button and find a place on your computer where you will be able to find it the next time. The desktop is the easiest place. Name the file whatever you would like, but you must add a .jpg at the end. Adding to Cart. Once your banner is finished and you're ready to check out, hit Add to Cart. This will put your banner in your cart for purchase. If you realize you missed something, you can click on your banner and it will take you back to edit your banner once more.